Lift our hearts, lift our strings, let's revere our school of faith, ever true, loyal true, for our colors, white and blue. Dear Princeton High School, our love, our pride, we've always held you. As our shining light, our joys, our sorrows, hopes, dreams, and fears, we shared in PHS halls, will live through coming years.
I know we had to raise the speakers up uh, about six feet to, uh, we would not have been able to see the far end basket at all. And then they've left the scoreboard. Yeah, then that's that, the scoreboard was gone. I think we should also mention that uh, we came across that off. It sure might, as the roads were getting covered and the people came over late enough that it was snowing very hard and they came across. We're just a few moments away from basketball. I'm glad to with Bob Grant sitting alongside. And when you say hi above the Raleigh County Armory uh, playing floor, that's right. And we're going to be with you the first football, 30 seconds. I'm 
Miller. As inbound pass, Steve Kidd with the ball. Goes to the left side to Robert Green on the wing. Brings it back to Steve Kidd. He goes to the right side with it to Bowen. Gives it back to Kidd to Green. He'll fire. It's off the iron, no good. Rebound pulled down by Bowen. Bowen puts it up, no good. Rebound pulled down by Green. Puts it back up and bad in. So the Tigers will play it on the baseline. The Wilt will inbound it. The Tigers set them up four in the lane, parallel left. As they move them out, it goes into Eads on the left corner. Eads drills them back out towards quarter foot. This is the same player way outside, and it is a 2-3 zone. And Eads with the ball on the wing left side. Back to the same player. Goes off the top of the key. Murray. Up to Miller on the low post. Jim goes under. Lays it up and in. Jim Miller. And he is done. He puts it in. Miller. Miller with the bucket for the Tigers. Four to two. The Tigers up. And Bowen with the ball in the front. Works the kid. They go to Green on the left side. Drives the baseline. We got a whistle. And a foul. And a foul. The Tigers enjoying a two-point advantage with 504 of play. The Tigers will have it out of bounds. Come here to the line. Five 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 to the line. Tigers will inbound it. The Witt will inbound it from the baseline. As the Witt puts it into the left side to ease on the way. Mike looks at the bucket, starts it outside, gives it to the main player, top of the key. Yes. To the right side wings of the train. Step on that, not step on Murray, but step on the train. I've got to correct it. As St. Clair with the ball, gets it to ease on the wing, left side. Fires, gets it to the left side. Fires, gets it to the left side. Fires, gets it to the left side. Tigers up a score of 42 left to play in the first quarter. St. Clair takes the inbound pass from the Witt. He's 
on the two D and D still in the back corner with him. Got the three corner horn press put on by the Eagle. Back to the E D the front corner. Coming around the ring. Coming down the left side. Going to the corner. Holds it up now, starts it on into the corner. Outside with the team, St. Clair. St. Clair to Stephon. Stephon goes to the on the low post. Jim puts it up no good. Step on side of the no good. Jim puts it up again. That's no good. Comes off the Eagle, taking out Green, taking out Yeah, well, we got the goal on the goal to the goal on the Tigers, 86. The Tigers leading with St. Clair. Brings it back to the front court. Get the D, here goes the back of it. Now, St. Clair brings it to the front court. Gives it over to E. D's on the right side. Looks it down toward the corner. Still on the dribble on the left hand. He'll put the shot up. Won't be iron no good. Rebound. Buffer. Got out by Price of the Eagles. And they get it out. Bowling. Bowling in the trouble. What is the good to the iron? Out the corner. Got the side iron no good. Rebound for the Eagles will press. St. Clair brings it 
to the front work, this is the Miller. Miller to E. D's on the left side with it. Now on the dribble. Directing traffic, this is St. Clair. St. Clair moves it towards the left side to the wind, goes to the baseline. He'll fire from 18 feet off the iron nose. We've got a whistle and a foul underneath. Now we're on the middle. I don't believe this one, Eagle, but number five. John Wright. Ken Bell is losing it there, and I think he's going to pass. That's number three on the right. Team down number four on the Eagles, getting off the bench for the line-up. The flying Eagles will be over to Lynn Taylor. Taylor is a six-foot-one-inch junior. As the Tigers will inbound it, the inbound pass comes into Mike Eves. Top front with it to Jeff St. Clair. To DeWitt, deep in the corner. Comes around his man, he'll fire for a few inches short. No good, he's through down here. The top loose, got a bound for the Tiger ball. As the Tigers will inbound it on the baseline, on the wrong bucket, as DeWitt will inbound it. As he pulls the trigger, drops it to Miller coming down the lane, puts it up, no good, Miller hits it. Good. Good. with it, starts it towards the lane, comes it off the lane, trying from 15 feet off the iron, knows that Stephon trying to tip, cannot get it her. It's knocked down, it's almost knocked down, it's through the power. Somebody call that on the end? Yeah, put an elbow on the side of this. It is number one. Team foul number three on the side. Number four. Yeah, we'll get David Phillips as the ball for the Tigers, but Mike Eaton will get your breath. As Bob Bowen then down to Steve Kidd for the Flying Eagle. And Steve Kidd to the right side of the To the right side of the green, they give it back to Kidd, top of the key. It's Kidd. Trying to get in the corner, they get it to the corner. To Taylor. Taylor gives it back outside to Kidd. They go to green on the left side. Works. Move around the wood. He'll fire. Good. Green is a 12 and 12. We got a tie ball game now with 52 seconds left to play in the first quarter. And St. Clair, it's the front four with it, working out front to the Wick. As the Wick, working out front, drops it to Stephon. As Strain works the baseline, drops it into Phillips. Phillips, Phillips, fires off the iron, no good, Miller trying to tip, no good, Miller still fighting for it. And now it's the goal of the flying eagle. And bringing it out with Green, Green in the front court to Kidd. To Bowling, fires, no good, rebound, pulled down by Taylor. Taylor, Phillips, fires, looks like he's got a hook on the foul, and it's called. Okay, the second flag is a 
fakes the shot now. He fires off the iron. No good. He wants it to score. Rebound thrown down by Beckley. After this, he looks at running with it. Into the front one.
a good, good flying over Stephon. No good. Rebound to St. Clair. They double Feeney. He still comes out with the ball. And Jeff into the front ball with it to E. D. down to the right side. Loses it toward the baseline. Still dribbling. Now he gets the baseline. Opens to the runner. Puts it up. No good. Rebound. Full down. By Green and E. And foul by E. Green is injured. At number three on the Tigers. Number three on the
will lead the Tigers by two.
turn the game around in a hurry. Look at that funny game.
the left side of the board. All right, off the iron, no good. Rebound to Miller. He went up and scored down with a big hand. He dribbled him twice against the base. Back at the outside of the E. He dribbled to the front court. Over to the E. Key backs it out of trouble. Give it to St. Clair and Jeff. We'll start the offense from out front. And Jeff gives it back to E. He's on the wing position. Now he's going to get for Miller. Miller back to the E. Can't get him open. He gets it to the win on the high post. Again, goes across the key. Firing. No good. Rebound. Pulled out by Taylor up next to Gives it outside to Steve Kidd. Kidd goes to the key. The fake the shot. Gives it to Taylor. Looking underneath. Gives it back to Kidd outside. And Kidd now. Firing from 18 feet off the iron. No good. Ball knocked around out of bounds. And just makes Larry knock Robert Green into the deep place. Oh, he's a man. I'm not touching anybody without a bounds. Actually, I think this is the ball. Somebody hit it. I don't know who it was. And the Tigers with a timeout. He just makes Larry knock Robert Green into the it's the smile and shine and feeling the light of a brand new day and you're the pepsi generation you're the spirit of today Distributed by the Pepsi Cola Bottling Company of Princeton Incorporated.
and gives it to Green. And Green comes across the center circle. Out for the top of the key. Well, they won't make anything to the layup right now. Back to the top of the key. He's going to the top of the key. Good enough.
after 67. The Tigers will be back in action Saturday night at Oak Hill. They take on the Red Devils. And then next Tuesday night, they return home to take on the Bluefield Beavers. The Preston Tigers got four quarters tonight of 12 points, 19 points, 20 points, and 16 points for a game total of 67. The Beckley Flying Eagles had 14 points in the first quarter, 23 in the second quarter, 10 in the third quarter, 22 in the fourth for a game total of 69. Final score, Beckley 69, Preston 67. And we'll be back with all the stats first. Let's pause for this. The Beckley Flying Eagles, 69. And that evens the Tigers record at 2-2 two and two on the year where they have victories over Independence and over Woodbridge. Lost to North Fork and the Beckley. The Tigers go in action this Saturday night at Oak Hill. They, go, they take on the Red Devils. The tip on the state of will be on the air at 750. And then next Tuesday night, they come home, take on the Bluefield Beavers. And we're looking for some stats to come up right now. Craig, you've got some team stats. Already looking at the Beckley Flying Eagles in the first, second half, they only put up 29 shots, but they hit on 15 of those. In the fourth quarter alone, they hit on, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8. Second half alone, a game total of 30 out of 69 shots for a team total of 41% on the evening for the Flying Eagles. They pulled down 13 rebounds as the Tigers cut into that rebounding lead a little bit in that second half. A team, a game total of 39 rebounds on the night. Turnovers, uh, even in the second, first half, four P's for a, a game total of eight turnovers for the Flying Eagles. Charlie, what's it look like on the Princeton side? Okay, here for Princeton in the second half, they were 14 for 24 from the field for 58%. They pulled down 13 rebounds and committed five turnovers. As it looks for the game, Princeton made 29 out of 60 attempts for 49 percent, pulled down 31 rebounds, committed 11 turnovers. Looks like it's still that big thing about offensive rebounds. They got out rebounded in the fourth quarter. They got out scored in the fourth quarter, kind of bad. Uh, 22 to 16, as the Eagles made up six points, made up four point advantage, and then uh, took them by two. And uh, Craig will have to turn that mic on for you. And I have to plug it in over here. Wait a minute, let me get it. As Craig picks up a, a mic and uh, starts putting it on, and if I can find a, a jack plug, I'll plug it in. There it is. Okay. Now, Bob, you got some individual stats for the Tigers. Okay. First, for the Beckley Flying Eagle, uh, Bolton, Bolton had seven field goals, two or two at the foul line, 16 points. Steve Kidd had four field goals for eight points. John Price fouled out of the ball game, did not score, starting center. Uh, Green had three field goals, four or four at the foul line, ten points. The big man for the Beckley Flying Eagles was Dennis Goodson with 11 field goals, over one at the foul line, 22 points. Glenn Taylor, who came in as the substitute center, had five field goals, three of six at the foul line, 13 points, giving him a total of 30 field goals, nine of 13 from the foul line, 69 points on the night. For Princeton, Mike Eads had five field goals, Four of four at the foul line, 14 points. Jeff St. Clair had two field goals, four points. James DeWitt had five field goals, 0 for 1 at the foul line, 10 points on the night. Stefan Strain had three field goals, 0 of 2 on the night, and six points. Jimmy Miller had 13 field goals, five of seven at the foul line, 31 points on the night. And David Phillips came in, he hit one field goal, he missed his only free throw opportunity. And uh, two points on the night. Princeton, 29 field goals as compared to one more for the Beckley Flying Eagles. Seven of 14 from the uh, foul line, 67 points. Armory, it's an uh, empty, quiet armory, and it's certainly sad in this booth. I know that. The Tigers got beat 69-67. Bob, you on my hat, No, no. I'm, uh, I'm just hoping that I'm just looking forward. To, I'm not looking forward to seeing those roads. And uh, the game's history, Princeton has to put it behind them. They have to get out and they have to start playing like they can play and like they should be playing. And, in fact, like they played an awful lot of last season. They have to, well, to they, control the board. They played that well. They played that way against uh, Independence. Independence. And the first half against Woodbridge. That's right. And uh, the Tigers now 2-2 two and two on the year, the alumni game not counting. Now, they go back in action 39. There's a big difference in the rebounding. It sure was. Uh, Beckley uh, pulled down eight rebounds compared to two rebounds for Prince. So that's probably a big factor right there. And mostly not getting 
needed that second shot again. Uh, Princeton came out in the third quarter and out rebounded Beckley, eleven to five. And you see, they they came back and, and they got in the game and they got a substantial lead. Well, it was about six points at one time. And then in the fourth quarter, they still they're not getting that offensive rebound. Uh, well, you know, a lot of uh, big rebounds I can bring back to mind late in the quarter there with uh, less than a minute to go. They they missed that uh, rebound on the offensive when they uh, Beckley hit the free throw. Right. They missed the rebound there, which gave them the, the uh, Beckley back the ball. And but you know the overall rebound is what killed them. Eight to two in that fourth quarter, and they went from a four point up to two points down. What was Tiger shooting for in the second half? Uh, they shot fifty eight percent in the second half. Uh, how many shots did they get there? Uh, they only got 24. How many shots did they actually get in the second half? They got 29, and they shot 52%, so there's not that big difference on the shooting percentage. Well, in the fourth quarter, Preston only shot nine from the field, made five up. So they limited them to the shot. And like we get, they again, we'll go back to the offensive board. They're not getting that second shot. Okay, the Tigers beaten here tonight at Beckley, 69-67, to 67, and the record drops to 2-2. Two and two. Any final comments, gentlemen? None that I can think of. It's not going to be as nice a trip home as we had planned. Especially with that snow. It hasn't right. snowed since we've been in this. Uh, I wouldn't have bothered us. I could live with the snow if we had a win. We, we could sing back home good. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm Glenn Ray speaking on behalf of Bob Graham, Charlie Wright, Craig O, the whole illustrious crew, saying we appreciate the fact that you've allowed us to be a party of you. The fact of the matter is, thanks so much for listening. Good night, all.